I'm Dr. Uksha Jain, and I'm a practicing physician in Orlando and Dr. Phillips area. I've been practicing medicine for 36 years at my medical center. I specialize in anti-aging medicine, emergency medicine, and also pediatrics. Today, I want to share with you another story which further proves the greatness of America. But first, here's a little background about me. I moved here in Orlando in 1980 and I worked at the Trauma One Emergency Center at Orlando Health which used to be called Orange Memorial Hospital and I dealt with all kinds of emergencies including ambulances and also helicopter ambulances. I always wanted to have my own medical center so I can treat the patients the way I want. Moreover, I didn't want patients to wait to be seen by a doctor. I wanted patients to be seen on a walking basis so they don't have to wait for an appointment. Also, I wanted to have all the equipments including x-rays so I can make a proper diagnosis, treat the patients like I did in the emergency room. While I was working in the hospital, I passed my emergency medicine boards and I opened my medical center in 1985. This was a house and we converted house into a medical center and it was done within six weeks period. When I opened up here, mine was only one of its kind and I was busy. In 2006, we installed a new brick mortar electronic sign with a proper permit. We installed the sign so we can inform the people what kind of services we offer. Many of my patients were thankful that we installed that sign so they knew that they could come here for their emergency. I had a patient with a bad allergic reaction. He came in and I treated him right away. He knew I was here because of the sign. Interestingly enough, a code enforcer cited me for that sign claiming that sign was against the code. Keep in mind that sign has been there for nine years by this time. I explained to the court officer that the sign was installed in 2006 with proper permit. We showed him the county permit, but he still sent us a citation in the mail with a warning that we need to remove the sign in two weeks. And if we do not remove the sign, then we face a fine of $1,000 per day. The sign was very important for the people in the community and I was going to stand up for them. I had a choice of hiring an attorney, but I knew that no one can represent me better than me. Despite having all the documents and permit in the record, we still have to go for the hearing. During the hearing, I showed all the documents that proves that my sign was permitted, but they won't let my case go. For some reason, they wanted to schedule another hearing. I communicated with them and told them there was nothing else to prove. After going back and forth, when they saw that I'm not going to back down, they dropped the claim. Taking care of the patients was very important to me and I was not letting anything get in my way. It took six months of my time, but the message is clear that this country is great. In no other country, I can stand up for myself as I came here. In sign still stands as the monument of my victory. I love what I do, and I look forward to serve my patients for years to come. In God we trust, we believe in America, and God bless the USA.